In a sense, we are our stories. They're a collection of us as a people. Our culture, legends, myths, and lessons that we pass on from generation to generation. A personal collection of books is almost an altar to a particular mind. What you see in between the bookends is a glimpse into you as a person. A bookend is an object with a job to do. A simple job, but one that goes beyond function. Almost a sacred job. These bookends have a story of their own. A story that begins in 2017. The story of an object begins with a question. Well, a few questions. There are many considerations when designing a product. Scheduled steps and milestones. But the initial question, of course, is where do we start? Six inches is probably the, the minimum. So yeah, it sort of here. made sense to me that we were both given the same, same mass. thing. Okay. Let's agree then that we're, we're working with a, a cube. Yeah. The project begins with shared parameters, a six by six inch volume to design with. The bookends will be a limited run of 20, the sale proceeds of which will go towards the renovation of the RIT Industrial Design Studio a product sold to support education. Josh Owen and Wendell Castle each take a very different approach to their respective designs. The one thing I was sort of mindful of is that I think all these are much less organic than what you would do, which is a good thing in having a nice you know, dichotomy. Josh Owen has arrived at a simple geometric form with thoughtful practicality. When Josh reads, he often finds himself underlining and writing notes in the margins. Therefore, his bookend incorporates a place to keep a writing implement. Wendell Castle took a markedly different approach. I mean, I do think there needs to be something that's suggesting a force. He identified the core needs of stability and a point of contact with the book. Between those two, he filled the space with something alive. He let his characteristic whimsy and irreverence take him where he will. Our objects have been given form. Now it's time to consider material and process. It was here they encountered their first challenge. Aluminum was the initial chosen material for the bookends, and CNC milling the production process. While Josh's geometric form lent itself well to machining, Wendell's organic design was a problem for the machine's tooling. To solve this problem and maintain Wendell's form, it was decided to change from machined aluminum to cast bronze. Sometimes you need to change the process to fit the design. It was at this point when the most unexpected occurred, potentially stopping the project in its tracks. I wanted them to have the same feel of a handmade object and with discrepancies and things like that. Well, they're human. It's not, not a mechanical thing. I mean, I think the, the vocabulary of, of organic would suggest that that organic things are not perfect things. Some changes are planned, but some changes are out of your control. What are stories but conflicts and resolutions? The next few years were a time of challenge and social change Bookends, like many things in our world, were put on pause.
This is John Truax. Like many small business owners, he has been weathering a storm. Supply, demand, labor, and material costs have been ever-fluctuating challenges for the past two years. His business, Burrow Furnace, which he operates with his wife Liz, casts and manufactures cookware. Today, his craftsmanship and facility will bring the bookends to life. Our designers have made two different pieces of varying thickness, and the two designs lend themselves to different casting procedures. The geometry of Josh Owen's design lends itself to sand casting. A two-part mold is created from tamped down sand that molten bronze can then be poured into. The organic curves of Wendell's design requires a different mold making process investment casting. An investment powder is mixed with water and poured around a sacrificial master pattern. This is done under vacuum to prevent air bubbles. An air bubble in the mold could spell disaster when the bronze is poured. It is baked in an oven to solidify the mold and melt out the 3D form. Now our molds are ready for bronze. The bronze is heated to about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Needless to say, John needs to wear protective material over his entire body. When the correct temperature is reached, molten bronze is poured into the mold. Section thickness is the main challenge here. The bronze must be hot enough to flow into the mold at the right speed, but not too turbulent to wear away at the mold walls. As the bronze cools, it contracts, and thinner areas cool faster. This is why the outer sections are being heated. Getting the material to contract evenly and in the right order is where the expertise of the master craftsman comes into play. Once the bronze is cooled, Josh's bookend needs to be violently released from the sand mold. Wendell's bookend must have the investment cast shocked with water, causing it to dissolve and reveal the final form. Both casting is required cleanup and sprue removal. A process four years in the making is finally visible. Production of an object can reveal issues that necessitate last minute changes. One such change occurs in Josh's form. A relief is added to the casting in order to address bronze cooling issues. While Wendell's form brought about the change in process to bronze casting, the material change in turn affected the very form of Josh's bookend. Sometimes you need to change the design to fit the process. When I think about holding up books, I think about the way in which I read books. And so I was thinking about how I like to put um, notes in books often. Um, and it occurred to me that it might be interesting to have a bookend that kind of celebrated um, uh, an implement like a pen or a pencil. Today, graduate students of RIT's industrial design program are learning the story of the bookends. Within the sketched concepts, production failures, and successes, a story emerges. And so having a description of the project, the meaning behind it, you can then pull content from that as needed 
for a presentation or for a, a smaller document or something else that you might briefing the vice president on or a, a client on. So Artifacts of Process. They offer a unique opportunity to experience the entire story. Physical artifacts of the bookend's creations are preserved in the special collections within the Vignelli Center for Design Studies archives at RIT. The archives are full of such objects, each with a story to tell and a lesson to be gained. Our lessons, culture, legends, myths. These stories are us. The job of the bookend is a simple one, but one with an important purpose. The bookends not only frame a collection of thoughts and ideas, but can be part of the collection themselves. We are proud to announce a limited run of 20 sets of bookends available at Shop One, a contemporary design shop that showcases RIT-made art, craft, and design. The proceeds of these sales will benefit the RIT Industrial Design Program and offer an opportunity to support education.